Hi, and welcome to the IT Pro TV YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at SQL injections and stay tuned to find out more. Hey there, everyone. I'm Daniel Lowry, an entertainer here at IT Pro TV. And today I'm gonna to show you SQL injection attacks. And this is gonna be something that you would learn in the Pentest Plus series on IT Pro TV if you become a member and wanna check that out. So if that's something you're interested in, you should totally go look at that today. Other than that, I say we get right into things and show you what a SQL injection attack actually looks like, shall we? To the computer we go, here it is. I've actually got a couple of demonstrations for you today. One is gonna to be to bypass this authorization form, this sign in, right? So we've got a username, a password field, pretty straightforward, very simple stuff we've all used and, and done in our lives. Now I can try things like admin, admin, and that didn't work. And I can continue to try to guess my way through it. That might be uh, an effective strategy, but sometimes SQL injection could come to the rescue for us. If I throw a SQL injection true string to it, maybe it will bypass the authentication because it's gonna say, this is a true statement. And if it is true, I should give you what you want. So let's give that a shot. I'm just gonna type in anything I like, ASDF, and then I'll put a single quote there so this is where I start my injection attack, right? So what I'm gonna do is do an or one equals one because last time I checked, yes, one does equal one. So that is a true statement. And I'm gonna throw the hashtag symbol on the end of it there to let it know I'm done talking about this stuff. Don't process anything else. Now for the password, this is where it gets really fun because I get to just lean on the keyboard. I'm just running my finger over the keyboard, li uh, literally doing that. And I'll hit the login and oh, look, Look at that, we have status update. The user has been authenticated. If I move that out of the way, I can see that I am logged in as admin. Well, that's fun, right? So there you go. SQL injection used to bypass, bypass authentication. Really, really helpful. Now, it's not the only way to do it. I've got another application here that takes in user IDs. So I can type in one and get the information. I can type in two and get that information. And you can see that I could work my way through the database. Let's try our one equals one trick one more time and see what happens with that. So I'll put something in here again, anything I like, put my single quote, and then or one equals one, and then the hashtag. Hit submit, and you'll notice it then starts to dump the entire database instead of just giving me one record at a time, letting me know I've got a good SQL injection area, injection point is what they call that, and I can start to further enumerate the database itself, get more information out of it if there is any more to have. More sophisticated attacks could be launched at this point in time. So really cool stuff. This is the kind of stuff that we learn in Pentest Plus. So if ethical hacking, penetration testing, that's something you're really interested in, come and join us at IT Pro TV. It'll be a really good time. And of course, if you like this type of content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when we do put out more cool videos such as this. Until next time, have a great day.